Here we have a cover, just a piece of OSB covering this hole that contains a uh, check valve. Pretty deep hole. Unfortunate thing about check valves is they go bad every so often. So we need access to it. And the other thing that is bugging me is this nice hole here that we have covered. There is our shutoff valve to the tank to shut off this water down there. If we ever have any problems with leaks anywhere, we can, this is the source and we should, can shut it off there. So these covers, the plan was not to always have just boards covering these forever. The plan was to make our own. That's what we're gonna do right now. And I'm gonna make them look good too, by the way. Since I let him use the wheelbarrow the last time, now he just wants to use the wheelbarrow. <laughs> screws. They're just screws that are held on to for some reason. Check this out. It's just barely holding them together. So, a hair more would have been good to cut off, but that's okay. Um, I don't suggest making strips, quarter inch strips of wood uh, the way you just saw me do it. Table saws are dangerous. You definitely got to watch your digits. Well, let me show you what these are for. Okay. So, 
all I got left to do is to screw those in place and then this is ready for cement. The reason I put these quarter inch strips of wood in here is so that it creates a, uh, a lip that will basically, when you take the, the lid and put it on the hole, that lip will be sitting lower in the hole so that if it ever gets bumped, it doesn't pop off, it doesn't move over or anything. So the bottom's not gonna be completely flat. And so that lip is just to help hold the lid in place. All right, this is ready for cement. I put duct tape on all the screw heads so that they could come out easily later after we're done with the form. It's, this is for this uh, hole here. I've got to make one for one more for the valve box for the uh, water tank. So we'll make that real quick and then we're ready to pour cement. Do it by hand, it's only three eighths, maybe it'll maybe it'll go. Oh, yeah. Easy money. You're so strong. Strong like bull. Yes. It is a flag. <laughs> See if it fits. Oh yeah. Just gonna get one or two in the middle. Call it good. So we've got the handles made just out of this 3 8 rebar. And I just painted them black because they're going to be sticking out of the form and exposed. And I had some black paint laying around, so why not paint them black? Now, I only got one stick of that 3 8 rebar, so I'm all out. Tomorrow, I will go and get more rebar for that and for a little pad that we're going to pour right here in front of the door to help make a ramp up into the shed because we got some heavy stuff in here that we got to get out from time to time that have wheels on them like our 3500 watt generator and the uh, stick welder they're both pretty heavy it'd be nice to just wheel them out without having to pick them up to get them out on the ground out here and this step is pretty high <sighs> it's probably Oh, a good eight inches, seven, eight inches there. So I'm gonna rake the rock back, probably put some fill in here to bring it up a little bit and start forming it out to have a nice ramp up into the shed. Hey, can you guys help me? With what? Can you help me find some flat rocks? Yeah. Yeah? Cool, let's go. So let's go check the boulders. The boulders. <laughs> oh, I found one. Oh. That's a good one. All right, let's check it out. Can you see? Yeah, that could work.
Uh huh. For the uh, covers for the oh, it's not fat at all. It's just that is a perfect. great one. That's probably the best one. Nice. Yeah. They're to cover the the boxes over by the shed. Boxes? I don't care. Yeah, I think we have Plenty. a pretty good collection. And this one's the best one of all. It might be. I think. Oh. Don't let any of those fall. Perfect. Now we just got to get them all the way over there. How are we going to do that? Yeah, you're going to carry them all. No, he's going to carry them all. All of us are going to carry them all. Okay, well, I'll carry them. Grab as much as you can. I want to grab the rock I found. We're ready to pour some concrete. We got our number four rebar hammered in the wall there pretty good. Might be a little bit overkill on how much rebar I got here, but that's okay. I like overkill. And we've got our lids ready. These are gonna be cool. I just put some, a rock in each corner to help hold that up to suspend it. So that the rebar isn't flat on the, the bottom of the frame there. And those are ready to go. Here's the inspector. <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> we are just about ready. Natalie's putting on the adhesive. And... You know... I'm back and forth on this. Originally I was thinking we'd put the cement here and then we'd get a bunch of flat rocks and cover it, make it look like a, a rocky path there or ramp. And then I went back and was like, no, probably shouldn't, I'll just do cement. Well, now we're back to, I'm gonna put rock on it. <laughs> and so Natalie and I went and collected more rock. Got a couple of five gallon buckets here of flat rock somewhat flat some of them are thicker which is fine because we can push that down into the cement which is the plan is to pour the cement and stick the rock in before that cement sets up
didn't quite work out over there, <laughs> which is okay. We uh, we weren't able to stick the rocks in. It's it's setting up too fast. It's too much. It's too much. So we'll have to grout those rocks. These are much smaller, however, and we're able to get the rocks in pretty quick. So this one's ready uh, to set up. Now we have one bag left. I think it should be just the right amount for this one. Ready for it? Yes. Nice. Turned out great. Nice thick slab. And here I thought I was done mortaring rocks for a while. <laughs> right back at it. You can blame me if you want. Okay. <laughs> First one's a big one. Oh, look at that. Look, it fits right in there. So nice. Let's go in there. Okay, this is actually a lot more enjoyable than the wall. It really is. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Ooh, look at that one. We found, I remember finding this one. Look at that. Oh yeah, that does look cool. Washing these good, right? Mm -hmm. Now you like to suck off. Don't give me a hard time, I'll eat me. <laughs> That's such a bad thing, actually. Ah! What? <laughs> That's it, I get it. <laughs> One thing about this, when you get them to fit just right, you know it's so satisfying. Yeah. Well, I'm satisfied at least. Are you satisfied with your care? I think so. First reveal. Looks okay. Yep. Ah. Oh. Ah. The duct tape. Man, those spots where the duct tape are yeah, right. turned out really smooth. <laughs> you see the outline we made there? Yep. Okay. I wonder why it's so flaky though. It's not too heavy though. You know. You don't think so? Well, it looks heavy. The other one's gonna be heavier. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you want them heavy though, so that if you walk by and you accidentally hit it with something, they don't just move off. You know. Right. Ooh, that looks good. Oh. Ah. 
There it is. Ta-da. It's got the... I think I know why this is so flaky. The wood form, I think, pulled the moisture out of the cement on here. Mm -hmm. So we should have wet these down with some water before we actually poured these. But they'll still work. These look pretty... Man, where the duct tape is, it's like so. It's like glass. Mm-hmm. Feel that. Should have duct taped the whole thing. I guess. Probably because the duct tape held the moisture in better than oh, yep. sitting on just plain old wood. Yep. Live and learn. That's why we do these things, so that you guys can learn from our mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but, that's the bigger one. That's pretty heavy. But, that, I mean, that's kind of how you want them. You don't want these things to pop off. And I'm so glad we can get rid of the plywood that we've been using to cover these <laughs> these holes. Right. That we do kick around all the time. <laughs> yeah, we're always, because they're, they're, they're oversized pieces of plywood. We're tripping on them all the time. Okay. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the grinder real quick and just smoothen out all the edges so there's not really any sharp edges. And then we can put them on. Ooh. Holy cow. That looks nice. I like that. Oh my gosh. That turned out so good. <laughs> yeah, it did. It's a little wobbly, but that's because the oh, that's because we made this cement box ourselves. So I just have to take the grinder to it probably and level it out some. But man, that is so much better than that board. Yeah. And that that groove fits right down in there, so that's as far as I can shake it. So it's that's a good lid. Let's put the other one on. Look at that. It's a little high, which I knew it would kind of be, but this is cinder block, so we can cut that down lower. But for now, I mean, look at it. It matches the wall. Yeah, it does. Our ramp here is looking pretty good. As you can see, it's not quite done. We still have rocks to put in this part. It was going pretty quick though, which is nice for a change <laughs> compared to the wall. Uh, we have to stop though, unfortunately, or fortunately, I think, because we are about to head off into the woods and get packed up to get ourselves some logs and to try out our new log arch that we built a few videos ago. So this will get finished up another time. We love how it's turning out. We're being a lot more careful and a lot cleaner with the mortar and trying not to get it on the face of the rocks like we did on the wall. Also, we want to thank you guys for helping us choose a color for our mortar that will be used on the house when we go to build that. There are a lot of votes for both colors, the brown and the uh, dark gray. Uh, unfortunately, I'm losing out. <laughs> Brown is not the color. Most of the votes were for the dark gray. I don't but, know if that's unfortunate. <laughs> maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> but I think it'll look better with either one of those versus the, the light gray that you see here. This is wet. We did just wet it down too, so it looks a little darker. But we're excited to uh, to do that on the house. But that's, of course... A long ways away. A long ways away, um, which is fine. We'll finish this up at another time. For now, we're going to get packed up and head out into, into the woods so that we can try out our new log arch that you guys saw us build in the last video so that we can get ourselves some logs so we can put siding on this shed. And by the time you're seeing this, we're probably already back home and getting ready to sawmill it. So we hope to see you there.